Hi. I was Hi. hoping I might have a moment of your time. Uh, yeah, sure. Come on in. Thanks. Uh, sorry, just let me... Just let me turn oh. off that music, okay? That's an uh, interesting uh, selection. Yeah, that's my Aunt Teresa. She used to play that stuff all the time. Uh, my brother inherited the record collection, burned me a CD. It just sort of takes me back. She used to call it music to get knocked up by. Oh, well, she sounds like quite a character. Oh, yeah. That's my whole family. So, so, what have I done to get myself on the DA's radar? I was hoping that I might be able to ask you some questions about Brianna Hughes. Oh, uh, yeah, I thought I read somewhere you got taken off that case. You read that article? Yeah. Did you read the whole thing? Stuff by Jew and the Mayor? I, um, afraid so. Yeah. Well, as long as I'm here, I will tell you that uh -huh. I uh, slept with the mayor okay. once. Was a mistake. Mm -hmm. Wish I could take it back. Can't. Now, about those emails, the ones that make me look like an obsessed, emotionally unstable stalker, I didn't do those. And quite frankly, it kind of hurts my feelings that people find that image of me so credible. Oh. I'm not surprised. I mean, I mean, I mean about people feeling that way, you know, I, you had the uh, illegitimate child of Sonny Corinthos. That means for the rest of your life, people will judge you by the standards that they apply to Sonny, not by who you are. Sounds like you know something about that. On the house, <laughs> consider it a peace offering. Sometimes my big mouth gets me in trouble. Oh, you had that problem? Me too. <laughs> Cheers. Salud. Uh -huh. I'm not going to deny what you said was true. I did, in fact, have an ill-advised affair with the crime lord of Port Charles. Not so smart. But I don't regret it because we have Christina. Oh, I get that. I do. It does affect my credibility at work. I mean, how can I effectively serve as DA of a town that has a problem with organized crime when I'm consorting with the enemy, yes? Uh-huh. Well, I can tell from the look on your face that you've obviously read my bio. As long as I'm confessing everything to you, why don't I just tell you that I was married to Sonny's brother, Rick Lansing, who was oh. a borderline mobster, and lest we forget my latest indiscretion, criminal master hostage taker, Jerry Jacks. Oh. Just add that to the list. So you got a thing for the bad boys. Well, you know, I grew up with, with them. So, yeah, it feels real homey. Uh. <clears throat> so, I'm just curious, how does the... The, the mayor fit into to that whole scenario. Actually, we were both in the same place at the same time, literally, and was one mutually vulnerable moment. That was it. One night, no emails, none of that. Not that that matters to anyone. It's much more titillating to believe the lies. It ups the ratings, sells papers, that kind of thing. They just forget that actual people are really involved. Right. How are you girls holding up? Well, Molly is young, so she thinks Mommy just got into big trouble because she got caught kissing the mayor. My 16-year-old Christina, that's, that's, a, that's a problem because she's confused and she feels betrayed. And she thinks her mom is now a big fat hypocrite. And she may be right. But I'm trying to look at the bright side and think that She's seeing mommy go through something and having to clean up the fallout of making a big mistake. And here's hoping that she doesn't make a similar one. <laughs>